How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? This is Indeed Gaming here. I am, in fact, Mr. Indeed, and welcome to my channel. Please do like, share, and comment on this video. And we're going to get right into it. Now, this video is not really a review, but kind of a review, but more of a, just a conversation uh, really praising the art team of Gotham Knights for the suits in this game. In my opinion, these suits in this game are easily the best costumes that have ever been put in any comic book video game. And this includes all the Spider-Man games, all the Arkham games, you name it, I think this game stomps. Easy. These 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 outfits are amazing. I love like I would say at least 80% of them <laughs> for each character. I think their art team did an amazing job on all these suits. Um there's a typic there's typically like in these types of games like certain suits that I see it was like, okay, that's the game I'll probably play with the majority of the game. In this one I feel like I'm actually gonna I'm, I'm going to move around quite a bit on all of these suits. I mean, I definitely have my main suits that I want to play with, but I'm, I'm going to move around quite a bit with a lot of these suits because a lot of these suits are like, they're just amazing. They're, they're, they're really good. I mean, I, I don't know how they put all these together, who their art team is, but hopefully they get a raise after this game comes out. And whatever they do next, because I'm, I'm I'm even more excited to see what else they're gonna do. I mean, think about if Batman actually does become a playable character either at the end of the game or in some DLC for it later on, which I think it will be a crime if uh, Batman wasn't DLC for this game later th as a playable character. I mean, I would say without a doubt we would be looking at if Batman was a playable character in this game we'd be looking at his best suits ever in this game definitely 100% um I have 100% faith in the art team random thing you know with Batgirl I always wonder why her hair is always out because the forensics team would be able to if they get a hold of her hair they'd be very easily able to figure out who she was especially since uh James Gordon is on their team <laughs> I mean, I guess it's the same for Nightwing, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe they, maybe she put something in her hair that uh, gets rid of the DNA trail or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's just a random side note. But anyway, now um, I'm gonna get into what are my favorite outfits. The outfits that um, some that stuck out from me, well, for me from the beginning, and some that I just saw once like all, everything came out. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to be playing with that. Um, as I said, all of the outfits, for the most part, are really good. But these are the ones that kind of stuck out for me personally. First off is going to be the um, Night Ops. I believe these ones are called the Night Ops ones. These ones are amazing. These were the very first ones that stuck out to me. Um, all four of them are good. Um, I know all of them... At least Nightwing, all the characters who typically have parts of their face showing, all of them have options that don't cover their entire face. Like Nightwing has one that covers most of his face, but not his hair. And then his nose and his mouth are still out. I want to say there's another one that it covers his face about the normal amount. And then there's the one that they have here. Uh, same goes for all the other characters, except for... Wait, no. Yeah, except for Red Hood, I mean. <laughs> yeah, Red Hood's... I, I don't really know all of the changes for his helmets. I don't think they're as drastic as the rest of the cast, but I think these these were the first ones that stood out to me. Definitely using those. Next, I would say here with the... Um, these are the uh, demon ones, and I think these ones are among the most interesting ones just because what they mean. And what they mean is this is kind of a... Um, spoiler to a group that's going to be very important in the game uh, i'm not going to get into the actual spoilers that came out um but i would say that even if you haven't seen them these kind of spoil that the league of assassins are going to be fairly important in the game at some point uh they're going to have a pretty decent role i think every suit here 
is great. I have not seen any of the different variations for the mask or anything for these, but I'm actually really interested in seeing them because some of them, I like them, but they're a little off. Like there's something about the Nightwing that's a little off for me. I think the uh, Robin one's perfect. I think the Batgirl one's perfect, but Robin, I mean, but Nightwing, there's a little bit something about his. That I'm like, eh, if I could change X, then I, I would, I would really like that one. These ones right here, the um, Eternal suits, I great, uh, I love these suits. That's the uh, almost classic Red Robin suit, or at least it's inspired by that. I would say the uh, Batgirl one is really good as well. I think that one is um, one of her better suits, honestly, because I feel like it kind of it makes her stick out from being like Batman esque as far as the color scheme. Like it, I think it really. Um, leans into what her color scheme typically is with the purple black and yellow and i think it's really good actually um the nightwing one is actually probably it may be my favorite one now i've actually seen a few people say that they didn't like the nightwing eternal suit i can't imagine why this is actually one of my favorite nightwing suits uh i can't really say what it is about it that like i just feel like it's it really fits him i guess i could say it's like it really fits him it's something like kind of like the uh the night ops ones that i could really see nightwing wearing uh i think it really fits him the red hood one i think is really good as well i haven't really seen him wear anything like that um except for the there was a recent comic well the recent i can't remember what this comic was called um it was but it was him and um him and uh, Nightwing in this particular comic anyway. And this, his suit in that actually looks a little bit more like the Night Ops suit because typically Red Hood always has some sort of coat on. But um, in this particular comic what he, that he had with uh, Nightwing, the comic was basically um, Clayface had like taken over Red Hood's form and was making it look like he was going around killing people again. And it wasn't really him. Him and Nightwing teamed up to beat him. It was, a good, it was uh, from what I've seen, it was a really good comic, actually. It was pretty short, sweet, straight to the point. I thought it was a good comic. But typically, Red Hood always has a coat on. This was a comic, or one of the only comics, I should say. It may actually be the only comic I've ever seen Red Hood not have some sort of coat that goes to his um, outfit. Rather, it's a coat or it's a hoodie or something like that. It was just, you know, just straight whatever armor he has on. And I actually like that look for Red Hood, and I think that this Eternal suit is really good for that. But I don't know. I'm still I'm still kind of leaning towards maybe Nightwing's one being my favorite one. And then the last but not least is going to be the Eternal suits. Now the Eternal suits are definitely, I think most pe among most people's favorite. I really like these suits. I think that there's a I think maybe they could have put a bit more color in these, if I'm being honest. Now, I'm curious, when I say that, I'm curious if the color wheels affect these ones. Or if these ones are just like, these are legacy in-game suits, they have to be this specific color. So I'm kind of curious on that. I, I kind of doubt that's the case, but for some reason, something makes me feel like that's going to be the case. And I'm not saying that I would hate that if that was the case. Um, I think all these suits are really good. I think uh, Robin's, Tim's may be the worst out of this uh, these four here. Uh, the green on the hat, well not hat, the green on the hood, I don't think it, um, it doesn't work as well as like the little bits of color that are on the other suits. Like with Nightwings, it's all black, but then he has the blue outline on his outfit. I mean, on his uh, symbol. Same with Red Hood, but then he has the red helmet that really, it really pops in this outfit. And then Batgirls is very, I mean, it's basically Batman suit <laughs> uh, with, with a yellow outline on his suit. And actually, one of Batman's suits does have a yellow outline on the bat symbol. So I think all those ones work a little bit better than Robin's does with the, you know, little green accents on the hood there. But I actually think all four suits are really good. Um, honorable mention, I would say, is the Talon suit. Now, the talent suit, I was actually, at first, the only talent suit that I saw was Nightwing suit, which made me think that they were actually going to lean into the, um, what, you know, what is true in the comics, which is that Nightwing was actually supposed to be a talent. Like, that was 
what that was like what his future was supposed to be and batman kind of saved him from that um but then i seen everyone had a talent suit so i'm curious there are they just not going to bring that up is that not going to be a thing for this story or is it that um any four of them could have became a talent based on what you know their lives turned into once they were with batman or something like that or are they just gonna leave that out completely um last thing super super duper last thing i would say is um another thing that kind of maybe i hope personally is a um a little easter egg or a little hint at someone that is going to be in the game is deathstroke there is a slade wilson color wheel for uh the suits I'm, I'm guessing everybody has the same color schemes available to them so i, I know that uh red, red hood has a slade wilson color scheme and i'm hoping that that is a um kind of a nod to hey this character is going to be in the game at some point deathstroke is definitely one of the characters that i want most to or one of the villains i should say that i want most to see in this game um i would even put him over like the joker and i know a lot of people don't really want to see the joker in the game personally i want to see joker in the game just because i would like to see red hood and batgirl go through their issues with the joker and it going up against the joker without batman being there i think that would be a i think that would be a pretty um big opportunity for an interesting story for the gotham knights in general because red hood being red hood what if in this situation red hood decides that he wants to go when i decides we get so angry he wants to go back to killing and wants to kill the joker how is that going to fare with the night well with the gotham knights are are they gonna like get into a conflict where they end up having to fight red hood to stop him uh batgirl not so much um there was a comic uh that i've spoken about before where she kind of let red hood kill the joker when it was just those two uh, it would be interesting to see if something like that happens again or we had a similar situation in this game um, i doubt that it would happen like batgirl I don't really see her doing anything too interesting about that. Like, it'll just be, oh, I hate you. <laughs> but I'm still going to, you know, do the right thing. I think Red Hoods will be a little bit more interesting in that situation. But it is what it is. Either way, I would say Deathstroke, I actually want to see more than uh, Joker. I would love to see Deathstroke, uh, Deadshot, any of those assassin-type characters, uh, Lady Shiva, uh, Chechar all those characters i would like to see like and i've said this before like open world events where there is assassin some sort of named assassin character in the city that is either there to kill the gotham knights or they're there to kill somebody some other high profile person and one of the, that's like something that the gotham knights have to deal with either like deadshot like randomly trying to kill you when you're going on, through the city or like Deathstroke showing up when you're doing a regular, uh, solving a regular crime and he's there to kill you or something like that and you have to fight him off, like something like that. And I want to see that with more than just assassin villain characters, of course, but I would say the assassin ones would probably be the most interesting ones. But uh, I don't want to, this video is obviously not about that. This is more about the, uh, the art team doing an amazing job on all these suits. I, I love I would say 80 to 90 percent of the suits the four that i put here obviously i like more but these suits are all really good um they they, they did great i mean like i actually draw and they, their art and i've actually drawn a um a concept for red a red hood suit and a nightwing suit before and their art team put me to shame <laughs> put me to shame quite easily actually all these suits are really good so uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think that these are the best comic book suits in a video game ever? Because personally, I do. I think it beats out Marvel Avengers, including the MCU suits. I think it beats out um, all the Spider-Man games, all the Arkham games. Gotham Knights, in my opinion, has the best uh, superhero suits ever in a video game. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next one. Indeed.